my life is an actual joke. When I, when I change my clothes. Hello and welcome back to another week in my life as a medical student. My name is Lauren, if you are new here and don't know, and I'm a first year medical student. I'm on my way to class. Oh, my turn green. My schedule today is I have two hours of histology lecture and then I am in the anatomy lab for another two hours. And then I have my first like real PowerPoint stand up at the front presentation in the afternoon. I will see you in there. Sweet, sweet freedom. It is 3.38 and I'm finally leaving the medical school building. Thank God I'm ready to go home. I did not get to tell you this. I don't know why I'm excited. It's not exciting. It'll be exciting for you, hopefully. It is my very... <laughs> I'm lucky to everybody. It is my very first exam week of medical school. So today is Monday. My exam is on the following Monday. I'll be studying and studying and studying, and then Monday I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Sorry about the hood. This is the point that we're at because I need to wash my hair today. I'm sitting on the couch scrolling on Instagram, which I shouldn't have been doing, and I saw a post that showed the Love Island UK winners. Oh my God. Every time I watch a Love Island UK season, I always find out the winners before I get to watch the finale. Anyways, I think that was my cue to stop scrolling on Instagram, which I immediately exit out of the app and to start studying because it's 6.30 and I have no business not studying when I literally have an exam in less than a week. We learned the leg today in anatomy. So that is what I will be studying. I'll do lecture in terms of anatomy lab, so that's what we're heading to. I washed my hair last night and I just want to say I'm so happy the curls were back. I miss them. Finally got my hair products and we're back. Which is, you know, reasonably conceptually simple at this, you know, physical barrier between the blood and brain. But we'll look at this and in, in more detail. Going to doctoring. Do I look like a doctor yet? <laughs> I just got out, it is 4.40, it's 4.42, 4.40, how, how? After class and lab, I had doctoring from two to three. <laughs> I left doctoring and came out and I was standing outside of the building talking for, for that long. And then after I finished talking, I meant to get some new scrubs, but like, no, I actually have been chit-chatting my life away. <laughs> great, so now it's 4.40. My mother is coming to visit me today. I'm very excited. This lighting is great. My hair turned out so nice. I have been receiving compliments all day, which has really been like boosting my hair self-esteem because last week it was in a bun and the week before it was a train wreck. I used a different deep conditioner this time, so. It's so funny, one little product can just change the way your hair comes out in like good or bad ways. Now I'm gonna go home, eat something, and watch the show of course, naturally, it's just my style. 
my MO. And then I think my mom will arrive either while I'm eating or while I'm done eating. And then after she leaves, that's probably when I'll start studying. And I need to edit the video that is supposed to go up tomorrow. I'm really crazy. I don't know how long I was talking. Was I out there talking for an hour and a half? Like, who gave me the time to talk for an hour and a half when I literally have an exam in less than a week? I don't know. But that's what I was doing. Here we go. Definitely forgot to change out of my filas <laughs> for doctoring. Yikes. I think my preceptor might have looked out and saw, like, why does she have giant shoes on with her dress pants? But my bad. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye. I'll miss you. It is 9.30. <laughs> LOL, my mom just left. I think she's been here since seven. The trip was nice. We like had good conversations, just chit chatting, you know, laughing. I have not done any studying today. LOL, so I'm trying to decide if I should just get in the shower and then just edit and just kind of take the L for studying today. <laughs> Put that on the back burner. That might be what I do. I feel like that sounds like a good plan. Hey, long time no see. I'm talking quietly because clearly I'm in the locker room in our anatomy suite. I just spent a few extra hours in the anatomy lab, just like going over everything in preparation for the practical exam. So I am finally gonna leave. I think I was in there for, I don't know what time it is, but I think I was in there for like at least two and a half hours, so very exhausted. I changed back into my scrubs, so now I'm gonna change back out of my scrubs. I was planning on sitting here today, but I think I'm just going to grab a coffee from the Starbucks that just reopened next to my school. I'm gonna grab a coffee, and then I think I'm just gonna head home because I am kind of over being here just a tad. But then the next few days, it's gonna be library all day, all night, Lionel Richie all night long type library stuff, so. But right now, it's time for me to see my couch. So I wanted to update you guys on what was going on. I haven't really talked to you a lot all day just because it's been kind of a lot going on. I'm not sure if anyone else struggles with this, but when I park in a parking garage, I can never remember what floor I'm on. Like, it's ridiculous. Every day, I pretty much either park on four or five, and it seems like every day, I have a 50-50 chance, and I pick the wrong floor. Then I look dumb, clicking my car keys, trying to hear the car scream out to me, I'm here, and I'm like, where are you at? Very, very dumb. Anyways, first sip of Starbucks. What time is it? It's 5.09. We all know five o'clock is like coffee happy hour for me. So here we go. Mm -mm -mm. I was about to say, it tastes very coffee, but I forgot I got that double shot of espresso. <laughs> I do plan to be up late. I just have a lot to do, but we're gonna go home now. Back to my Fortress of Solitude. Rest a little. And then really dive. Dive into the books. Cheers! <laughs> I hit my car in the parking garage against the pole. I've never done that in my life. We're talking up to exam stress. I'm absolutely not gonna tell my parents, <laughs> which is hard because I tell them everything. I'm not gonna tell them until after I get my exam grade back and I can be like, hey guys, look, I did so well, hopefully. And I passed, and by the way, I might've hit the car against the pole. Oh my God. It is so bad. Like luckily it's just scratches, it's not like a dent, but oh my God, I cannot. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe I did that. I'm just so shocked. Shout out to my dad for this amazing food. And shout out to my mom for delivering it to me yesterday. This is shrimp and chicken curry. Very, very excited. I haven't had this in a long time, but it is a favorite. Gotta make sure we get some of the juice here. Ooh, yum. 
I think it's kind of fun to do a very informal little like show of the week. I've done show of the week before, but show of the week, playlist of the week, because I'm listening to a fire playlist right now while I study. Show of the week is the affair. There's all my food. It's literally 10 o'clock and now we're gonna eat. Morning, happy Thursday. Exhausted is not even the word. My brain is off. I'm completely on autopilot today. I already like left my phone and my mask in my car. Only took a couple steps, but it's just like, I've already dropped my phone three times today, like, and it's eight o'clock. So it's gonna be, a, I think, a very rough day. Very, 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 very rough day. These are the three ligaments that make up the lateral collateral ligaments at the ankle. So number one. <laughs> so basically, I'm exhausted because I didn't really sleep much last night. So, I like literally my brain is off. Like I cannot think. I forgot what I was about to say. So yeah, I got out at like 11.50, literally ran to my car, ran home in the car. And then now I'm home. It's like 12.22. I'm gonna take a quick nap and then eat something really quickly and then hopefully like get this video up that was supposed to be up yesterday, but we're blaming exam week. And then I have to run back to school because there is a practice practical on the cadavers for anatomy. My slot is at 2.45. I'm going to be back at school by like 2.25, 2.30. And then I plan to stay at school until the wee hours of the night to study. Yep, but I need to get this nap in so I can actually hopefully get some questions right on this practice practical. Okay, good night. Temporarily, I'm going to sleep now. My bed really embraced me like this with open arms when I jumped in. Like, oh God, I, I just deserve to be in this bed right now. <laughs> the way I was napping, like my life depended on it. I talked to you at 12.20. I set my alarm for one o'clock. I woke up at 1.45. So I have a college style dinner in the oven, pizza rolls. And I'm probably gonna have to eat them as I drive to school. And I think just with the way things are going, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna stay there. I, I have to stay there for some point of the day because I need to upload my video at school because the Wi-Fi is way faster than my Wi-Fi here. So I will stay there at some point, but I don't think I'm gonna get coffee, do this line over to you all night long thing. Cause last night it all just, crumbled around me like with the not sleeping thing that much and it's not like I didn't want to sleep it just was like I fell asleep and I woke up and I fell asleep and I woke up and then by the time I like sat down and actually go to bed in my bed it was like 4 30 and then my alarm went off at 6 and I couldn't fall asleep right away because of the coffee like it was just a mess like I really I have a bed head like I really was sleeping like my life it depended on it these have like 10 more minutes I'm gonna be leaving as soon as they're out probably, which is just sad. It's just sad. Me bringing pizza rolls in a paper bowl, it's sad. And then me eating that, like it's just all very, very sad. So look at me feeling sorry for myself. Sorry guys, this, today has just been like, the only thing that went well today was my lab and we dissected the foot. I'm gonna go now, change, get myself together. I just slept so deep, like, I felt like someone like slipped me a Benadryl. I slept, slipped me two Benadryls. Like I was like a sleep with an S-H, a sleep. If this isn't the saddest thing you've seen all day, not even all day, all week, but this is just, this is tragic. My life is an actual joke. When I, when I change my clothes,
Changed locations. I'm now in the break room. My friends that were with me have left me. My hair has gone crazy. And now I'm stuck here <laughs> because I was telling you that I was gonna upload the video while I studied. That's going up today. And the video is my first week of medical school vlog. And it's still processing the HD version. And I can't leave because it would take it would probably be overnight if I leave. And I want to get this up today, even though like the clock is really ticking, it's 8.58. Like I'm not gonna upload past like maybe 9.15, but then it's gonna go up on a Friday, which is not a good day. I don't think to upload a YouTube video. So, oh my God, I don't know. I finished everything that I wanted to get done today. I'm caught up on all of the labs. So today I learned the lower leg the foot and the ankle. So tomorrow I will be onking my life away. And then tomorrow we don't have classes, just optional review sessions, which I do plan to go to. So at least that'll be kind of like chill if a review session is chill. Good morning. It is Friday today. Walking to my car to drive to school. I've had a very vibey morning. I slept in a little cause it's just a day full of review sessions. So I tuned into the physiology one online through Zoom and now I am heading to the anatomy one in person. Hopefully the day continues to be vibey and nice. It's gonna be a day full of studying. My video is still not done processing, so don't know when it'll be up. It'll be up sometime today, even though it's Friday and whatever time it's ready, I'm just gonna throw it up on the YouTube. For the most part, it was going to be traveling through cortical brachialis, innervating it, and then it travels between biceps brachii and brachialis. But he has access to it because of his friend. So, like, and I know this beach. Like the studying never stops. Got my superpower juice. And, um, wasn't planning to drink this, but someone was like, Do you want to go to Starbucks? And I'm like, Okay, so here we are. It's 4.45, I've been studying since 1.45, doing Anki. I'll show you what I'm doing. Right now I'm going through the Anki for the upper leg, then I'm gonna do the Anki for the lower leg, then I'm gonna do the Anki for foot and ankle, and then we'll see where we're at. That'll probably take me like the entire day, rest of the day, but hopefully that doesn't take me too long. Everybody else went to go take a break. <laughs> But this is what an Anki card looks like. This is, of course, our pelvic girdle, but not attached. Each piece is called an oscoxe. And this answer, I believe, is the posterior superior iliac angle. No, 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 spine. Let's see. Put anterior. Yikes! And this is why we're studying. <laughs> tired there's one more Anki deck that I need to finish tonight I've started it but I just need to finish it and then I will stop because tomorrow is going to be pretty intense I cannot be my exam is in a few short days definitely not ready yet because why would I be it's only Friday I usually don't get stressed before exams until like right before the exam not the day that I'm taking it but like the night before or maybe two nights before. I think I've been doing a lot of anatomy, learning and everything. And that's the last deck I need to finish is the foot and ankle. And then tomorrow I need to do histology and physiology and then really focus on the concepts. Just really understanding everything rather than just being able to identify stuff. So whew, it's gonna be rough. 
unlike last week's vlog, which I finally got up. I had to upload it a second time because the first time it just was, the processing never finished. I decided to continue this vlog until Sunday. So you can really see right up to my first exam, how things are going. And then I will start a new vlog on Monday. I'm hopped up on coffee, so did get a little loopy today on the coffee. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Every now and then it happens. But right now I'm, I'm just very energetic. Another day, another garage. It's 10.40 maybe? And I just pulled up to school. Gonna be here all day, all night, everything. breaking for lunch and then we're right back at it. We have been doing histology all morning. I'm so over it. Don't think it'll take me that much longer after lunch to finish, but next time maybe I won't let histology pile up until two days before the exam. A few people are going to the anatomy lab because we're crazy and have lost their minds. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home after the anatomy lab. I'm leaving, absolutely. I think we'll be in there for hopefully just an hour. Identify some structures and then leave. What, what do I even say at this point? <sighs> it's three o'clock, I just got home. We were in the cadaver lab from the time that I told you I think it was like 11.30 until 2, I'll say 30-ish. So long, 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 long time. <laughs> it was definitely very helpful. I really wish I could show you guys the cadaver lab, but of course I cannot. I haven't eaten dinner. Yesterday I didn't eat dinner either. I'm not even on coffee right now. Amazingly, I'm awake. I hit this like second wind when we were in the anatomy lab. I was like jumping around. <laughs> so yeah, I do feel pretty energetic. I might crash soon though, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna try to eat something and then watch something, a little break for me. I've literally been going, 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 going since like 10.45. And then I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow bright and early for the last day of this vlog and the last day before the exam. So crazy, it is so crazy. I cannot believe it's in two days. Hopefully I get a good night's sleep tonight. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night, but hopefully tonight is better. Fingers crossed. Good morning. <laughs> this is the last day of H-E-L-L. I literally just woke up. It is 11.53. And last night after the clip you saw, I was sitting on my couch treating myself to a game of Angry Birds. And then the sleep just took me in seconds, really. Was falling asleep playing the level. Woke up at 6.45 a.m. And then I got in my bed and went back to sleep and now it's 11, so definitely running behind now. I usually like to make myself pancakes and eat strawberries with the pancakes as like my nice breakfast on the weekend, but I don't have strawberries because I have no food in my fridge and there's no time to make that and really enjoy it. So there is this place down the street for me that I've had their pancakes before and it's really good. My face, I look like I've been hit with a sack of nickels. Why do I look like this? The exam has punched me in the face, clearly. Hopefully I look better tomorrow. But I'm gonna get some pancakes from there and literally bring them to school and eat them at school while I get started studying. I think my hood is gonna be going up today, which means study mode is at its peak. I'm really excited for the pancakes. I deserve the pancakes, even though I technically just accidentally treated myself to sleeping in a lot, but it's fine, it's fine. Because by tonight, I will be ready to take the exam. That's what I've been telling myself. That's what I've been telling all my friends. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be ready, and it's time to go. So yeah, 
Energy is up. <laughs> Energy is up. <laughs> Might be delusional, but it's what med school does to you apparently after only three weeks. Catch me in six weeks. Hopefully I still am somewhat okay. We're back. Back like we never left. Here we go. Yeah, I put my hair completely away, so I'm giving potato today. I am back home. I did get a little stressed kind of as everyone started to leave like one by one, two by two, three by three. And I was like, I am nowhere near leaving towards the end of the evening, but I am feeling pretty good right now. Oh my God, you can see me scratching my foot. <laughs> my bad. I am going to just do some practice questions really quickly. There's only 19 of them. And then I am gonna just go over a few things just to get them in my head really quickly one more time and then i'm gonna shower and go to sleep just pray for me of course by the time you see this i will have taken it i will have received my grade and hopefully it will say that i passed <laughs> and i will let you know how it went in the next vlog it's just the craziest feeling knowing my first medical school exam is tomorrow we have a written portion that is two hours and 40 minutes and that is 80 questions and then we have the practical portion which is in the lab with cadavers x-rays mris and bone models and that is 50 questions and you get one minute per station so it's 50 minutes so that's my schedule for tomorrow it is a lot of testing it's it's like almost four hours of testing in one day so it is a lot a lot a lot of testing it does feel like it's finals week and it's literally just the first exam I'm only three weeks in in comparison to college finals week but yeah i'm feeling pretty good i definitely feel like i'm gonna pass so i'm gonna close this out here i'm being a little chatty and procrastinating finishing studying tonight if you liked the video please like the video give me a thumbs up especially because you can see all i did was study this week i i was struggling i haven't watched a tv show in days i haven't eaten three meals in days <laughs> don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe my life is very interesting good for you bad for me all of this medical school stuff <laughs> And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.